Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games out there. I changed the intro from 2600 to 7800 because we play lots of games. That's true. From different platforms. Yeah, it's not just 2600 anymore. Yep, so I messed up on the cadence in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. Um, tonight we have a very special show. Yes. Um, the show tonight is dedicated to a person who passed away recently from the Lero, and we wanted to Nero, Douglas, uh, we wanted to do a tribute to uh, the work he did over the many number of years mm -hmm. it uh, is uh, Nuki Shea who, that's who was his name on the Atari Age forums mm -hmm. uh, real name Kurt Howe okay. um, and we will get into that um, in a little bit mm -hmm. Um, but the games we're going to be playing of his tonight are is uh, Missile Command Arcade nice. uh, from 2006, nice. uh, Pac-Man Arcade Enhanced from 2011, mm. River Raid 3 from 2017, Another Adventure from 2011, and Galaxian Arcade Expanded. So mm. these are all um, hacks, hacks yeah. of existing games, and he... Uh, added in a bunch of new features, upgraded the graphics, mm. added in different play controls, like just expanded them, made them better mm. um, in quite uh, extensive ways, in fact. Mm. Um, so tonight is kind of a, a celebration of what uh, he did in the community and talk a little bit about the impact that he had on the people in the community as well. Um, so uh, I asked for... A selection of games. I asked for what what people's favorite games favorite were games for because I'm okay. not familiar with all of them. We've played a number of his games okay. over the years. Yeah. But obviously the people out there know his games really well. Uh, bet it really well yeah. because he had been a um, community member for since Atari Ages opened in 2001. Gotcha. Like right from the beginning. So um, people are much more familiar than I am with them. So um, out of these games that they suggested i tried out a bunch of them and i uh, thought these Found would be a, a great ones. Uh, okay. great ones to play excellent yes Ramirez says great selection of games yeah he plays a lot of games so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'll trust him in that yes um i want to thank the twitch subscribers who help support the show 8-bit swami on the firearms guard Kodo atari buck owens captain man 2d charles wheel and chive five coconut dno drexel dr mook has great offender ground trooper johnny wc carl g okay. Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Metal, Metal Lunar, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, the Mr. Zarn, Zoom, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, VG, Quag RC70, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, R, Siddall, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, Tiki Dan, K Trek, MDX, Ken X. And if you like, would like your name on that list, just hit subscribe. Yeah. It's free. If you have Amazon Prime, just link it. But if you don't, it's not free and you don't have to do anything. If you don't want to spend <laughs> just money, follow. just follow. Yeah, that's right. And we have uh, 887 followers. Wow. So that's excellent. That's a lot of people that could get alerted excellent, to the show. Excellent. Yeah, that's so good. And uh, the people who subscribed on the show or just subscribed Dan ABC, Carl G, Ground Trooper, Spiceware, thank you for resubscribing and today. And so did I. However, it. I swear, it's like you're in the same room as this is being broadcast. We're gonna delay it. We're not accepting the subscription. Oh, oh, yeah. Opus gifted it to Jedekiah. Oh, very nice. So thank you, Opus. Yay, and, hi, Trey. Uh, now Jedekiah is on the list too. <laughs> oh, um, so that's awesome. Um. But mine never never registers. It usually takes a half an hour or something. No, so I don't understand. It's so bizarre. Six weeks should come up soon. Oh. Um. Come on. So, we do have one of the uh, developers who worked with New Quiche mm. on one of his games. Uh, it's gonna, it's another adventure. Keith C. Brad Bradbury, who's chatting right now. Yeah. Um, so we'll be playing his game later on. So he'll be helping us out. Oh, nice. Uh, with playing it. <laughs> um, uh, I know the basics. I know how to play adventure. Yeah. But there's mazes and there's dark mazes. <laughs> so we may need some help from him. But we'll be playing that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So um, it was uh, discovered 
recently that Nuki Shea passed away, but he had actually passed away about a year and a half ago. Yes. Um, and word didn't get back to the community. Community for a while. Um, yeah. And people were wondering because they hadn't heard from him in a, in a while. Yeah. So uh, they did some digging and yeah. and somebody knew his real name because apparently his last message that he ever posted had his real name. Gotcha. And he he's given it out before. It wasn't a secret, but it took a little digging and they yeah. found that. Um, uh, he had passed away a year and a half ago. Mm. So Albert reported it um, because Ball Blazer um, did did the investigation. Mm. Uh, it's with great sadness I report a long time Atari Age user, Nuki Shea Kurt Howe, has seemingly passed away. This was brought to my attention yesterday by Ball Blazer, who did a little digging after somebody else noted noticed Nuki hadn't visited or posted in some time. Mm. Well, we don't have definite proof. It it is it is Nuki. Yeah. Um. Um. And he said, Nuki joined Atari Age in 2001, the year that Atari Age came into existence. And he uh, was responsible for creating a great wealth of interesting Atari 2600 hacks. He also helped many others with their creations on the 2600 and helped had over 20,000 posts on Atari Age over the course of 20 years. That, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was even awarded a Lifetime <coughs> Achievement Award in March of last year for his work involving 2600 hacks by Scott Dayton, admin of the Atari 2600 Homebrew Games Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Our hobby will be poor with his absence. And I actually printed out a bunch of the, so if you can grab it from the printer, a bunch of messages that people have, oh. have left. So we're going to be reading these out as we okay. go along through the games. Um, because there's he touched a lot of people's lives mm. um, throughout those 20 years yeah. and helped a lot of people with their creations of games and programming as well as making his own um, hacks um and um trebor uh posted a compilation so if you're interested in downloading oh that didn't come up right there we go downloading all his games all at once <coughs> mm -hmm. um trebor posted this the other day uh, last week i put together a tribute collection of Kurt's work as posted through his Nuki Shea moniker. Mm. The scope of the collection is strictly the files he posted directly with no additional modifications made by other parties. Mm -hmm. The two subfolders are included in addition to the main which sorts to the uh, according to files designed specifically for the supercharger and those designed for the flashback portable. Um, now the supercharger was really the first kind of alternative cartridge you could load games gotcha. through okay um it actually came with tapes and you would load them through audio waveforms well just audio off of uh, cassette tapes um wow. and it came with a bunch of ram mm -hmm. on board the uh, uh supercharger a star path supercharger was the full name okay and there was like 10 12 games okay uh, so that was the first way to load on games onto an atari um without like burning the rom and it was way before any other solutions were available mm. so what he did was he hacked a bunch of games to be able to be loaded through that and be able to load it on there so you can play the games on a real system uh it's important to keep in mind these files for these devices may not function properly outside their target equipment oh and the flashback portable mm. um so he made custom versions for this device, mm. the Atari Flashback Portable, yeah. which is a very cool little device yeah, yeah, that yeah. you can play your Atari 2600 games on the go. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them weren't compatible because of quirks. This wasn't a perfect emulation. Yeah. So what he did, he hacked a bunch of games so that they did work on here. Oh. So the ones that didn't work, he did. Okay, that's cool. And he did a ton of hacks for both of these systems. Gotcha. Like hundreds. Oh, wow. Yeah, like a ton. Wow, wow. <laughs> he, I think, he really wanted it to work on those systems, yeah, I think obviously. His, yeah, his yeah. goal was yeah. to port every single game possible mm -hmm. over to these two systems, yeah. which, was, um, which was amazing. Mm. Uh, although not to be intended to be all-inclusive, even with a limited scope, there are well over 350 wow. files. And it That's does a, a respectable job in representing his legacy. Mm. I can only uh, imagine if involving everything Kurt either influenced or assisted, that number would double. Yeah. Thanks to Nuki once again for the great times and amazingly awesome work you are missed. So you can download that right from there. Or that collection has also been loaded onto the Plus Cart. Oh. So you don't even need to load it. If you have a Plus Cart, you can just go online and play all those games directly from the plus card from the plus card over the internet wow. 
Cool. Yeah, so it's okay. um, that's very and cool. thanks to Alnifer and um, somebody else who helped put that up, mm. um, but I can't remember their name right now, so I apologize. Uh. Um, and uh, T. Carner posted about the supercharger hack. Um, if you, he said, if you don't remember, before we had SD cart card multi cards like the Harmony, the only way to play binaries on real hardware other than owning the cartridge cartridges was to load them via the star path supercharger it wasn't perfect due to the star chargers memory limits only work for two and 4k games um i think it was a bigger than that but i uh, i think all the 2k games worked but only about half the 4k games did so nuki hacked the binaries of hundreds of games to work with the supercharger most kind of moot nowadays but at the time this was huge mm. i remember working with him on this mostly identifying which games needed hacking mm. uh, and then uh, about the flashback portable hacks, Dr. Clue said, I liked, I like how Nuki fixed a lot of games to work on the Atari flashback portable and for the supercharger. If there's one game I like and still play, it is the Star Raiders hack that uses the switches on the flashback portable or regular Atari 2600 rather than needing a keyboard controller. Mm -hmm. So he did a lot of alternative um, control inputs mm -hmm. because on... Um, on the Star Raiders, it came bundled with a controller. Oh, I see. Which was um, equivalent to that big blue kids controller yeah. and also equivalent to the keyboard controller as well. Okay. So he switched that over so you didn't need that controller. Oh, okay. And you can just do it with a regular. There we go. Spice Horse said uh, Supercharger has 6K of RAM. So oh, 8K again. games 8K. wouldn't fit. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was 2 and 4. Or, yeah. It, it wasn't as big as I thought. I thought it was 16 for some reason. Yeah. The hacks were to prevent games from accidentally triggering bank switching. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first game up uh, is Missile Command Arcade. Okay. And he extensively hacked this game. Okay. So much so that the input control is completely It's tree time. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Good timing just before the game started. Yeah. And I can talk a little bit about the game. Oh my god. Oh my cats. And you can actually see the controllers on the floor there. He hacked it so you use the ro the trackball and the track and field controller. Oh really? Yeah, so two mm -hmm. very unstandard inputs. Oh, that was a half ring. Come on, you can do better than that. <clears throat> Hungry cats. Now Smack that it. was a meow, that was. Proper controller setup. You bet. Smack it, kid. Smack it. Smack it. Smack that. Smack that bell. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit the bell. He, he almost got... Oh, close. There you Good go. Good kitty. kitty. There you go. <clears throat> so somebody suggested that he make it so the track and field controller worked. And somebody else... <laughs> Oh, it said, if anyone would like to use the track and field controller, then here's something I made. It's an overlay of missile command control panel uh, from the art. Oh, you guys can't see it, but you will in a second. Uh, missile control, uh, Atari Boy 2600 made this, this thing. You'll see it in a second. Yeah, that's enough treats. Oh, I've got a couple more. Yeah, okay. Uh, from the arcade, CPO and print it, just glue it on a hard poster paper, then cut it and place it over your track and field controller. Um, <clears throat> so... This is the overlay somebody made. Mm. Um, so fire. there's three fire buttons for three of your uh, defense systems for missile command. <clears throat> Alpha, Delta, <clears throat> and Omega. And I printed it out for the track and field controller. Um, so actually, we can go back to that and show you how that works. Excellent. Very fancy. I know, Esther yeah. Ramirez. I'm impressed, too. So here's the track and field controller. So you'll be able to fire three separate missiles. Okay. And it overlays like that. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Very proper. So let's get this out. It's amazing how many times I've actually used the track and field controller. In the last little while, yes. There you go. Okay. And the trackball as well. There we go. So, the 
trackball is for your aiming. Okay. And that is for the three things. You don't have to actually have that overlay. It's, uh, well, without what the cardboard. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just left, left, middle, and right. Um, so. <laughs> Phaser Cat Games. That's exactly what the missile control systems we used in the military look like. Oh. There you go. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's switch it over and start up the game. Oh, you've pressed something. I don't know if you can use this. Uh, Slightly. Kind of. Side to side. There. Uh -huh. It's challenging. There we go. Oof. Oh, you guys can't see it. There we go. Ooh. There's no sound. It's not supposed to be sound here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So there's your crosshairs. Okay. And oh, it's jumpy, jumpy and terrible looking. Oh, I may switch it over to the other thing. Hold on, people. <laughs> it was a little flashy. Yeah, thought I was going to use a retro tank, but it's not. It's not ready for prime time. Yet. It's not. Oh, for a retro. <laughs> not tank. for the twenty six hundred anyway. No. That's about a thousand times better. Okay. So this was uh, first posted in two thousand five, and this build is from two thousand six. The buttons on this pause, if you want to pause. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it starts up from there or here. Oh no, just pauses. So it's not couch compliant. Oh, I see. Little How terrible it is. Ah. You'll get better. Um, so in 2006, uh, Atari Boy... Uh, no, here we go. 2005. Ah. This, this hack provides three launchers. Both players share left stick to move and left down right on the right stick to fire. Uh, trackball plus star pat, Starplex button controller should make a good combo. Then the left stick fire button will pause the game at any point. Includes NTSC PAL switching via the black and white switch too, and is Duke supercharger compatible. Terrible! Oh my goodness! This nice. is very nice. Looks very much like the arcade game artwork. The city? Oh no no it says low so I guess you just oh you, you have stockpiles <laughs> you have stockpiles for each each of them so yeah. you can run out on one and still have bullets on the other two oh but so you have to keep track of the stockpiles yeah. oh it's going for your city just in time I can't I find the um, track ball super slow but Is it? So, uh, so he gave a full list of the changes. Oh, it might be a bit loud. It is a bit loud. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> this looks awesome. Did the arcade have a gradient horizon, though? I don't remember. The end. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Warning. Flashing. <laughs> While it's happening. Um, so he gave a hack list oh, change. That looks great. Yeah. Can you do better this time? Mm. No reason why it was. Uh, attract mode, color shift removed, various superfluous code removed, level 13 egg, Easter egg removed, playfield missile cache removed, level specific colors removed, black and white support removed, supercharger compatibility added, the end text added, three button control added, two additional sprite missile caches added. AI adjusted also target the additional caches. Oh my god, it's really dark. This is so dark. I love the addition of the planes, but they're way too frequent. What, what are the planes for? I don't know, they don't seem to... Oh, they die, it. you get them, do you just get the planes? Let me see if it's on more visible on black and white. Ooh, there we go. No, that's okay. 
It was. It was more visible on black and white, but then I changed the color and it won't go back. It'll be better next time. Uh, it's gonna hit your base. Oh, it didn't do anything. Um, flashing player number text added. 7800 auto detect added. NTSC PAL select added. Oh, maybe I'm doing it with more PAL. Interesting. Black and white support removed. Um, track and field comes... Uh, track and field controller support added. Hilltop graphics alter border silos corrected. Sunset sky added behind cities, as, which is really nice looking. Uh, pause mode missile trail skew removed. Crosshair targeting added, which is nice. So I believe the original one just had a dot for you to use as a target control, so it was really small. Um, Score font reduced to five points. Oh, so smaller score. Oh, well, there goes one of your cities. There goes Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> oh, no. And Vancouver. And then Vancouver. <laughs> um, uh, animation table added for satellite bomber destruction. Satellite bomber sounds added. Animated title screen added. Uh, animated X and text screen added. End of wave tally screen added. Single player high score function added. Pause text added. So many things. Nostalgia said, I like the remaining missile and city countdown. Oh, low in the middle? That's cool. Oh, got it. oh another city. Oh, no. Down to two! Oh, no! Yeah, it's better than before. <laughs> yeah. Down to Dallas. And, uh, what else? <laughs> I don't is know. that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you press the button accidentally. It's nice. It does. It looks really good. Like, he did a, an incredible job. Oh, you're out. Left and right. Left and right only. Defend your remaining city. Remaining city. No! Forget the other no! ones. Oh. Oh, no. Will you get enough point to get one? Nope. No. That yeah. was good. <laughs> Unless Tarkus is enemies. Yeah, that's... What you have to t take care of is um, mm -hmm. make sure the what's left what's is, left is yeah. defended. Yeah, I guess that's. I wasn't even paying attention to that. That probably Can you do would a have reset helped. for me. Uh, yes. Don't squish cats. Squish that cat. Let's see how I can do. I do like how you shoot and then the halo around the missile oh, gives you some time. Yeah, it's yeah. not immediate. You do you definitely want to be a fair ways beneath the You do because it's because so. it uh, it stays for quite a bit. Yeah. This game always freaked me out. <laughs> Playing mm. it in the 80s, because this is a little bit different of a mm. uh, time back then, okay. when this actually could have Oh, happened. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, no! Oh. I think it's on my left, because most of them aren't going to the left. Cutesy Bradbury says, It's impressive how much of an improvement over the original this really is. And Miss Command says, Which says a lot, as the original was very good. At oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Amazing for the 2600. How many lines mm. they could do? Like, oh, yeah. The 2600 was not known for lines. No. <laughs> sure long, straight long, lines. Long, straight, di diagonal lines, yeah. too. So. No, come on. Oh. <gasps> Look out, Seattle. Yeah, poor Seattle. More coffee. More Starbucks. More Starbucks. Headquarters dissolved. Flicker, I'm not a fan of. Yeah, there's a lot on the screen, so they kind of have to be Flicker. Yeah. Because there's just Especially at the bottom not enough pyramids. sprites. Yeah. Your stockpiles of weapons at the bottom. You're not looking at, at that too much, so it's not too bad. But I guess the lines and the as well. Yeah, the they're lines, because there's... Yeah. I don't know what they're made of. I'm guessing they're made of balls and missiles and 
all the things that can do little pixels. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Mushroom cloud. But the trackball is a huge improvement. Way more. What happened? Someone got blown up? No. Nope. You're low, you're low, you're low, you're low. Ah. Out on the right. Okay. Oh, left. All you have. Oof. Two. Wow. Two left. Oh, God. There goes one of them. Mm. Nostalgic says it's actually weird weird for me to play non 2600 versions. I'm used to missiles that come down in pairs and triples at the same <laughs> angles. Oh, yeah. yeah, they are triples. Yeah. Oh, that must be a player character then. Mm. Uh oh. And there goes my stockpile on the right. Oh, no. To defend against. Oh, the stockpiles, too. Stockpiles now. Wow. Oh, there's things targeting the stockpiles. One down left. One oh, it's going for my town. Oof. Tense. They're all going for Tense. my town. They're all going for it. This man, I always thought the joystick was the biggest weakness of the game. Playing with a joystick or with the Some trackball? A uh, joystick. Joystick, yeah. But I mean, they had to target um, people who. Oh no! They had to target the lowest common denominator in most games because they can't expect everybody to have a track. Oh god. Down and to the one! Oh no! Not to Super cool! And obviously, uh, Miss Commands. Um, one of her favorite uh, games would, yes. judging by her name yes um so <laughs> excellent excellent uh hack to use a trackball in the track and field yeah. that adds a lot oh, to the yeah, game that because you have to feels keep in arcade mind, authentic too because yeah. it was it was usually the trackball in the arcade was, right yeah. yeah 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 and the three buttons i i, I, I have like not that. played in the arcade yeah but it brings the authenticity back to it and yeah. you have to keep track of Yes. How many missiles you have to defend yourself. Yeah. And you can be out. You're like, ah, done. Um, okay. The uh, next game is not a trackball game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're done with the track. I just wanted to put it first. Get it out of the way. Yep. Uh, is Pac-Man Arcade Enhanced uh, from 2011. Good Pac-Man. Excellent. Yes. This would be a joystick game. The Bratwurst. Yeah, what? bring out the Bratwursts. Pixel, you missed eating a treat over there. I don't think Just he's noticed there? yet. Oh. Yeah. Pixel. Oh. Okay. Taking up my warm spot. I know. He's Pets. like, there's heat here. Give yeah, me they the know. heat. Ah. Okay. Pac-Man Arcade Enhanced. Yeah, one second. Okay. And... Cafe Man 2D, just one game so far. Just only one missed game. One. Yeah. Um, so this is from 2011. Go for it. All right. Um, so a says a bunch of stuff was added to Rob's hack to bring it up to more, more up to date with other pack games. So this is a hack Ooh. of a hack. Yeah. So originally, somebody hacked Ms. Pac-Man. Gotcha. To be Pac-Man because Pac-Man was an atrocity. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> played it. I remember yeah. we had a Pac-Man day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It was it was its own thing. <laughs> it was it was pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah. So and Ms. Pac-Man was actually quite good. So somebody mm -hmm. went, well, let's bring it back to, and apply it to Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Okay. And then uh, Kurt extended that hack to add a lot more to it. Uh, yes, this is completely different than Hack'em and completely different than Pac-Man 8K as well. Oh. Okay. So this is another. Version. Another version of that. Yeah. There's so many. There's so yeah. many. What is this cat up to? What are you doing? Mm, as long as not destroying things. I know. Um, so. <laughs> he's, he's got something in his head. Okay. Debro's speed up cheat is allowed when difficulty is B. It is on. There is a cheat. You can press the button. Okay. And it'll speed up Pac-Man. Oh, really? Yeah. He is, he is like um, he's got speed hyper boost. mode or speed And boost? you can hold it down and have that the whole time. Oh. That's uh, cheating. That right, doesn't seem right. Uh, right difficulty sends monsters out of the pen quicker when it's in A position. 
Color black and white is used to pause the game at any time. Mm. So the original hack of Pac-Man, uh, Ms. Pac-Man to Pac-Man, was done by Rob Kudla. And he, it said, this hack was done to make a better looking Pac-Man for the 2600 by hacking Ms. Pac-Man. Mm. What's new? Play field, maze layout, sprite graphics have been improved, the theme music has been changed, sounds have been, elements have been altered, and uh, you were able to buy a copy of it mm. as well. Uh, it was named Pac-Man Arcade, and this is Pac-Man Arcade Enhanced. So, uh, <laughs> a true cat owner. So as long as he's not destroying, destroying things, things, it's okay. You can leave him alone. Leave him alone, yeah. Uh, go for it. All right. Let's go. Very authentic. Okay, theme music. He's got a real Pac-Man mouth in all directions. It's not just floating down. Let's go a little bit for the viewers. Going for that one. Um, full list of changes. Uh, teddy bear object eliminated, so no, no teddy bear version. Uh, level select shows which monsters are present. Unused maze data removed. Disabled fruit movement code um, because Miss Pac-Man had moving fruit, so the fruit is stationary. Ah. Maybe I should have put in my four-way joystick for you. Oh. Mr. Buy a Pixel. No! Oh, Pixel, how could Blame you? Blame my cat. <laughs> Blame uh, Dot color independent of maze. So in the original okay. hack, the, the dot color was blue, and you didn't have those lines. So he changed it back to have the lines and have a different dot color. Deny. The ghost eyes even point in the direction the ghosts are moving. Yeah, big improvement. <laughs> Bad ball sprite energizer switch to missile zero uh, will glitch when the fruit is present. Uh, correct level progression added, including faux split screen at level 256. Oh my god. He added a level 256 to this so that it glitches on level 256. Is that when it glitches in the regular game? Oh, there's game? a glitch. Um, yes, that's when it glitches in the arcade as well. So all you have to do is make it to level 256 and we can see that glitch. No problem. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, level selection includes starting board in addition to number of monsters. More faithful blue time chart added. Missing Galaxian bonus object added. Bonus object timer added. Monster eaten timer added. Score and background graphics altered slightly. Fruit eating delay removed. Starting ready message added. Game pause mode with uh, pause text. Death sequence sprites oh, added, fruit eaten sound added, left <laughs> right joystick ports merged, title screen monster, monster attributes added, Debro's speed up cheat added, game over text added, intermissions added, 7800 compliant TV type switch code, uh, intermission uh, nail added, intermission music added, erased intermission sprites when it edges, monster release order corrected. Additional add difficulty added when right switch is A. Level 255 test mode added. Press up on both controllers plus game reset. Oh, oh, oh. We'll have to look at that. Um, I have to plug in a second controller. Sure. <laughs> um, screensaver reactivated. Speed up cheat fix. Blue time addition fix. Intermission glitch fix. Death sequence. Um, sound effects fix. Difficulty switch indicators added. Invisible bitmaps added when monster initially eated. Blue time correction added. High score function added. Ooh. So, let's read off some of the things people uh, have left. Some messages in the uh, thread on Atari Age. You press the button to go faster. No, cheating. <laughs> cheating. I do not agree with that cheaty, cheaty approach. Just going for the maze. Okay. Um, S. Ramirez uh, left a message. Oh, intermission. Nice, big Pac-Man. Uh, my condolences go out to his family. Nuki's portfolio of hacks is amazing, and he always seemed to do his best to implement suggestions from the community. My favorite of his hacks is Missile Command Arcade, mm. with the track and field support, uh, controller support, which we played. 
Uh, Nano Chess said, this is so sad. New Quiche posted so many helpful things about programming the Atari 2600. I learned so much from his posts. A great loss. Rest in peace. Um, HSW3ET. My earliest Atari age memory is New Quiche's avatar image and his willingness to help people with their projects. No doubt it's a great loss to the community. Uh, you've created here, and that reverberates out of the Atari Age forum. Very sad. Rest in peace. Good soul. Down with the mustard colors. <laughs> <laughs> mustard colors. Yeah, the colors are really good. Nice yellow. But, oh, oh, no! You got cornered. I know. Sometimes I don't reverse course. As quickly. Captain Classic said, very nice guy. A shame we won't have any more contributions from him to the VCS community. He went out of his way to disassemble Golf 2K and improve the display kernel for that game. Note, I have four more fairways created, but haven't completed the obstacle placement for those holes yet. Itoko says, I've never played this. Behaves pretty well. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's got all the ghosts, got all the right colors, a good maze. It's got intermissions, which is awesome. I find, I find turning around problematic sometimes. Just going the opposite direction. Yeah. Oof. yeah. I just noticed the warp tunnels were in the right place, and it freaked me out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're in the right place. How could they be? <laughs> that's not... <laughs> that's not right. You mean you don't want vomit-colored walls in a blue background? Mm -mm. No. Very nice colors. Oh, there's a, a color glitch there that he was talking about. Oh, oh that's so like close. not the first time that yeah? it's uh, Bad timing. just runs away from me, that orange. Whoa, that was very close. close. That's what makes Pac Man fun. El Gorenfeld says, You want vomit colors? I was just reading about CGA graphics. Oh, yeah. yeah, what was it? Like it, there's a purple, an off blue. What was what was the third and fourth color of CGA? Ah, oh, stop it! Terrible, terrible colors. I just remember oh, that, yeah. pur that purple. That purple, yeah. Was dominated everything. Yeah, white, cyan, magenta, and black. Really, that was it. The black was one of the colors. Well, wow. at least they had white. That's why I couldn't remember the two colors. Oh, missed them all. Should have went for the dots. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that red one's on a rampage. Look how fast he's going. No. But the bad one was brown, green, orange. Useless. <laughs> yeah, composite CGA was definitely better. Mm. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You can get that last one. Or nope. not. <laughs> if he went up, you might have been able to get him. There was alternate, alternate green, yellow, red, black CGA mode too, but rarely used. Well, if those were like good greens, good reds, good blacks, and good yellows, that would be that would be very helpful. Yeah, this this version looks really really nice. Has the, no. all the right sounds, all the right graphics. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna look at the um, two controllers held up. Held up. And then reset, because then we can look at the glitch. Mm -hmm. It's level two fifty five. Okay, so hold up. Sorry, hold up. Hold up. Okay. There we go. So he's this is this is the version level 255 version. I guess you can't go to the right. Can you go to the right? Oh you can go through the maze. Okay. Mm. But you can't eat the dots on the right hand side. Very clever. Oh, he's all glitched at the top too. Glitchy glitchy. <laughs> oh, can you get that? Yeah. I bet you can get the ghosts on the right hand side. That 
Oh, you, you can kind of go over there. Oh, it, it, it has the maze still. Oh, there's a key. Oh, okay, so it has the maze and it has kind all the of. pellets, but they're in the wrong place, and the maze is in the wrong place. So you can still play it. <laughs> I have to figure out where those dots are. I don't think they're there. Uh, they were disappearing. No. Some were, but not all. Oh, I got Funny. That's awesome. It's not mirrored. No, it's not. Okay. Mm. My, turn. <laughs> My turn to play properly. And I'll show you the speed up. Salvador the speed Dali up. Pac Man. There's oh, the your speed, speed up. up. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. Yeah. Kind of cheaty. Kind of cheaty. <laughs> Just kind of yeah. makes it incredibly easy. Yeah. <laughs> but good for, you know, if kids want to play it or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, ah, gotta run away. <laughs> run away. <laughs> press, press the button. <laughs> Oh, Miss Pac-Man on the Genesis had the speed button, and it was awesome. Oh. Yep. Oh. Cherry. Nom nom. And I think this was... Oh, God. I think this was 8K. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's 8K. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just Eat. pause for a second, and suddenly there's a ghost one. It's really angry. Really aggressive. You get him. Nom, nom nom. Yeah, woo! And finish it off. That's how you get the high score. The yeah, Apid guy did a video about CGA that shows. Can you read that? Uh, yeah. So Spice Spice says the eight bit guy did video about CGA that shows off how much better games look when designed to use composite. Instead of four ugly colors, you got sixteen. Yep. Yeah, I cheated there. Really, there was a CGA and a comp. That's what happened to I'm me. I'm like half. The That's past what happened to me. But I was past halfway yeah, through it. Yeah, but you definitely, you definitely ate it. I, I definitely ate it. Yeah. As well. Did not register it properly. No. Ah! <laughs> that is not blue. No, not I got one. Yeah, if you like Pac-Man, this is a very, it's very, very good, good version. It's a very good version, yeah. Compared to some of the other uh, 2600 versions out there, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Or the old one. The old least. one. Yeah, there are lots of good new ones, but... Tons of good new ones. Yeah. Like the 8K. Yeah. His 8K one is good, too. Um, there's, a, there's so many of them. Go. Yeah. yeah, don't go too late on this game. No. Uh, I think you have to make it, like, all the way through the power pellet to oh, have it yeah. register. Yeah, don't good go job. too fast. Both times it was the upper right power pill, which makes me wonder if it has something to do with multiple sprites on the same line. Maybe. Yuck. It, it definitely, I definitely was on top of that power pill. Like it. Oh, I think you might be talking about the close. color change. No, no, the power pill that you, you oh. ate where it kind of glitched out. Oh, it oh. It was the same for me. It was the upper right one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Is the AI for the ghost completely random? It does seem to be random in this version. I don't know if he programmed the AI to, like the, the patterns. to mirror the actual arcade one. If you want yeah. one that's very accurate to that, yeah. you look up the 8K Pac-Man. Yes. Not his 8K Pac-Man, another one. Another one, yeah. There's a lot of them. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move on to River Raid 3. Mm -hmm. Um... It's a 2017 hack, fairly recent. Um, this is an 8K F8 supercharger game. Cool. Yeah, excellent pack version. Yeah, so highly recommended. Download, download it. There we go. River Raid 3? Yes. 2017? Yes. So, this has a lot of options. 
Um, let me look it up. There is a the options of spread shot, fast missile, mm -hmm. and fast scrolling as well. Um, so we should actually start with um, sp spread shot and fast missile. There we go. So game four. I think that's the most fun one. Spread shot, fast missile. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can start with the button or not. No. Boo. <laughs> Not couch compliant. You can hold it down, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fast. I don't remember River, River this. No, it was not. <laughs> this is the hack of it. So that you can have crazy bullets. Three bullets instead of one. But Continuous fire, and it's way faster. Make sure you get some fuel, too. Oh, yeah, I have to. Don't shoot them all. Oh, you don't shoot them all. Oh, shoot. <laughs> And you can speed Oops. up and slow down. Oh, and at the end when you die, it gives you a stat report of everything you've shot. Which is an oh, add-on as well. Slide forward. And you can slow down by pressing back, too, if you need to slow down for some time. Well, really easy to blow up your fuel. That is the problem with this version, is that it's really easy to blow up your fuel. Oh, don't press anything. I didn't press anything. Really? No. Oh, maybe it only stays up for a second. Yeah, it was very, very quick. So, um, Arena Foot uh, left. Keep buying. Okay. Left a message uh, online on the Atari Age. Oh, you um, can slow down. Okay. Yep, back to slow Sorry. down forward oh, to speed up. I'm not, not trying. I'm not trying to kill the fuel. <laughs> well, you don't need it yet. Yeah. Arena Foot says, as we never met in person, Kurt and I had several conversations through Atari Age uh, private message over the years. I'll be doing a dedication to Kurt in my next book uh, and checklist book. A true loss to our community. You will be greatly missed, Kurt, but will live on in your games. Thanks go out to Trevor for compiling a tribute collection of Kurt's work. The collection can be found here, and I showed you it. My favorite hack of Kurt was River Raid 3, which I covered in Volume 3, page 116 of my Homebrew Companion book. Uh, this was an extensive hack for Kurt. Many things were added and needed to be rewritten for the code. So I will get that down right now. Mm. Bring a foot's book. Page 116. Read a little bit more about it. Oh my god, you just destroyed the fuel continuously. After, yeah, that's a problem. After a gamer discovered River Raid on iTunes had a unique version called Fantasy Mode, he asked the question I was wondering if such a mode can be done on the original River Raid ROM. So this version is playable on the original hardware. From this, Kurt House set out to hack the original Activision River Raid video game to a playable fantasy mode River Raid for the 2600. <clears throat> the hack of River Raid 3... Oh, it's over. Yeah. So there, it's the final. So yes. the time... Uh, nostalgic, I did just destroy a house. <laughs> Two houses. <laughs> what, you can destroy the I houses? Yeah, I shot the houses by the That's side. a difference. <laughs> yep. So 201 time, yeah. uh, level, right. level 5. <laughs> okay. Bridge 5. Five, you killed five bridges. Mm -hmm. uh, four jets, 24 fuels you've destroyed. <laughs> you can't not destroy the fuels. That's the hard part. 43 helicopters, 31 yeah. ships, two houses. That's fun. Blow it all up. Raid that river. <laughs> El Gor Gornfeld says. Um, following new features. Title screen, spread shots, fast missiles, fast scrolling, but that's really hard. Random colors, shoot at houses and trees on the land. You can shoot the trees too. Um, that are located on the side of the game screen. Score table shown on between lives. Uh, one or two players, alternating. Somebody asked him if he could hack two players, but he said it's, it's very difficult to do that. Um, let's see. So it's got 32 different modes. Uh, there's random color modes as well. Turbo speed, fast missile, spread shot, and one or two players. And, uh, and it's shown on the screen as you scroll through it because um, just like Omega Matrix hacked all those games to have title screens, he kind of did it on this game where it shows up at the beginning of the game and you know what version you're, you're using. There, full. All the games have been disassembled. Yeah, so... Uh, a lot of the times, uh, Kurt included 
his uh, assembly code with the distribution of these games and so you could see what he did and his comments. Yeah, the problem with the bullets sometimes is they go through things because, I don't know, I think they're sharing. Ah, oh, I should have sped up. I always want to, no, it doesn't, it seems to slow down. Can't get it to really speed up all that much. Your mission is to score as many points possible by destroying enemy tanks, helicopters, fuel depots, jets, bridges, and now the houses and trees on land before your jet crashes and runs out of fuel. Yeah, the, the missiles go through things sometimes. It's probably because they're going so fast that they're not on the same line as the enemies. Because if you look at them, they're almost skipping a line each time. That's probably what's, what's mm. happening. Uh, did Nuki keep the same seed for generating obstacles as in the original? Any experts out there at memorizing the maps? Uh, from what it looks like, it looks like... It is the original map, possibly. But maybe not. Uh, one of the newly added features to this game is spread shot. Previously, the original game was a single shot, only in a straight line. Well, and that's how you, so awesome. you couldn't shoot the houses or trees. Like, it was an impossibility. Because they're off to the side. Now your jet can shoot a triple shot in a V-shape. With this option on, you can now shoot buildings and trees that are on land. Zero points are earned for shooting them. The game does keep track of how many are hit and destroyed. Uh, number of lives remaining is now shown to the left of the fuel gauge. So you have three. Uh, fast missile. Now the player does not have to go to wait for a single shot to hit something. Or go off the screen for the next shot can be released. You can fill up the screen with shots. Oh, so it's not only fast, it's multiple shots at once. Is it? I don't know. It's so fast, it's hard to tell if it's multiple. Like if you hold it down. Try holding it down. Sorry. For a second. Hold it. That's... Yeah, I'd say there's multiple shots in the screen. It kind of fills the screen almost. Okay, don't have to. Uh, turbo speed. The game field scrolls a lot quicker than the original. A random cool. color. The usual game colors are changed for each level. Poor civilians. Yeah. A lot of collateral damage here. Should have went to the left or sped up. I, I needed fuel. <laughs> you gonna play? Yep. You're good at this game. Um, can you read out yes. that and that? Before River Aid? Yeah, those, those please. Oh, I see. Computer Space Fan, really sad to hear this news. Nuki was an amazing guy. Not only did he make the, the incredible Hackam Hangley Man version of Pac-Man, which I argue is the best 2600 version that exists, but he also hacked Midnight Magic for me to use the paddle controllers like the cover art shows. He even made the alternate version of River Raid with the three bullets just because I had said I saw an iOS version and wondered if it was even possible on original hardware. All of these and many more he did just for a giggle and a challenge, and his turnaround time was hours. That's amazing. Wow. Atari H has truly lost one of the nicest and most skilled 2600 experts, and I was very happy to have known him. Uh oh, where's my fuel? Ah! ah. Almost. I like the speed. Yeah, it, it is fast. Out of you are flying. Is it just with this, this spread shot that you go this fast, or it's the whole game? Uh, it's selectable. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you can Picked have spread shot, not spread. No, I'm, I'm pressing forward. So I oh, can just I see. go faster. Because oh. with spread shot, you can destroy just about everything without worrying too much. Yeah. Yes. You still need fuel sometimes, though. Get that fuel. Lots of fuel. And there destroy. You go. <laughs> go. I oh. love that. I love that when you get close. When you get close, yep. Yeah. Go. Random color, fast missile, spread shot. So this will change colors. Something will change colors. Doesn't really say what. Um, when you get to the next level. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So we'll see what that means. So Sam Gammon. Oh, there it is. Nuki was always up for the challenge when you asked for a hack. He did backgammon to nat gammon for me. I just wanted a hack where the computer moved his pieces fast. I also liked how he always explained the hacks he did and how he was always there to help others doing hacks. To me, his master masterpiece will be River Raid 3. He did amazing things with that game. 
Oh yeah, this makes it into a very different game. Oh, that's a nice cover. It had the when it just changed, it had two different tones of brown. <laughs> Nostalgic says, would this with a turbo far button melt the game? <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> I don't know if it makes it even faster with a turbo button. It's pretty know. fast already. No, I don't think it actually affects it. <laughs> oh god. Don't shoot the fuel. Fun with triple shot. You just fly through. Ooh, nice fall colors. Nice fall colors. <laughs> it's the pumpkin spice version of River Raid. Pumpkin spice River Raid. <laughs> just in time for the holiday. Just in time for Thanksgiving and home. Oh! oh! Right into the wall. Oh, God. Oh, wrong side. Oh, oh, too fast. Oh, smush. Yeah, the colors changing is oh, I like really the nice. Colors because it, it, it does make it feel feel like you're going through seasons. <laughs> it does. It's really nice. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Last life, I think. Can you get more? I uh, don't know. Usually you can. In the games. Cool. Purple. Nice. Spring. All the pink and purple flowers by the riverside. <laughs> yeah. Let me feel. Oh. oh, no. Nice. 44 ships. Five houses. Uh, Should I read that one? No. What does it say? Read this last, that one? Yeah, at the end of the show. Okay. No. <laughs> last, no, last, last, last. I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't say. Nope, nope, nope. No. Do you get points for houses and trees? You appear no, to. No, you don't. Oh, you, you don't get, get points for you houses? You get it added up on this screen. At the end. But you don't get it added to your score. As you're going through. Yeah. Gosh. So it's more like, yeah, you killed some people. Yeah. Then maybe, <laughs> then maybe you shouldn't have. You're not getting any points for it. <laughs> um, super, super fun game. That was fun. Um, so... Next one we're going to be playing. Style points, yeah. Style points <laughs> is another adventure. It's by it's 2011, mm -hmm. and it was by Keith C. Bradbury and Kurt Howe. They both okay. worked on this game, um, and actually released it as a cartridge. So let me just uh, do I have that up? don't think I do. Let me just check. One second. If I don't, I, I can bring it up. Oh, I don't. Thank you, Canadian Tenor, for subscribing. Oh, Good night, Miss Command. Good night, Miss Command. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. So this is from archive.org um, because this page is long gone. It's not for sale anymore. Mm. Um, oh, Atari found it. <laughs> the, the, Atari yeah. 2600, another adventure. Uh, 2600 or 7800 author, author Keith C. Bradbury. Release date, March 2011. Nice. 29.95. Oh, the old website. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, yes, they still exist. <laughs> yeah. Nothing gets erased off the internet. No. So that's what it looked like. Very cool. Yeah. Fully boxed. Very old school looking. I paid 29.95. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If only you could. <laughs> uh, harkening back to the original Atari 2600 game titled Adventure, introduced in 1979, another adventure returned to the Magic Kingdom with even more adventure. Nice. Travel to the kingdom, search the ice castle, the great volcano, or any other varied locales that will lead you to the location of the enchanted chalice. Mm -hmm. You'll face dragons, mazes, dark caverns, mountainous region, and even an annoying bat that has the power to bring those beasts you've slain back to life. With the enhanced graphics and complete compatibility with the Atari 2600 and 7800 game systems, your quest will all be all the more enjoyable as you travel the land with a trusty sword in hand. Mm box contains one game cartridge and game manual unbox option saves six dollars on the purchase price of the product um second run yeah so yeah there was a hundred made 
five autographed box copies. Keith Bradbury has joined us yeah. in the chat. I see to his help name is through. author on, yeah. on this um, we archived uh, web page. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so we'll verified. Be... Verified. Your, your vaccine passport has been verified. That's Keith. Right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> second run. I don't know if he'll do a second run. <laughs> um, so this this is Adventure, one of the more famous games on the 2600. People mm. love this game. Um, one of the first really quite complicated games mm. um, because it had multi-screens. There was tons of objects that would interact with other objects. Uh, things would follow you from screen to screen and, screen, and I believe there's a lot of firsts okay. done in this game. Go for it. Um, Ooh. Look at that title screen. Ooh. Ooh, so, look at uh, that dragon. Uh, Keith has asked us to play level five, but we're going to be playing level one first. Okay. Just to, just to show off uh, the first level. That we can actually complete it. Uh, that, or I that we can do it, yes. don't think we'll complete level five, <laughs> um, but we'll give it a go. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can press the button to start. No. Nope. That's a great dragon graphic. That is. Done in Playfield, I'm guessing. Okay. So all new graphics for every screen here. Uh, so you want to go get that key. And, oh, cat, don't you bite those cords. What's happening? I don't know. Is it me? Try it. Try it. Try now. No, move around. There, there we go. Okay. Button doesn't do anything <laughs> right now. Not when you don't have it. So, yep, you go in there. You go get the sword. Don't need that key anymore. Goodbye, key. Oh. Just press a button to drop it if it's acting difficult. Oh, I love... Look at... Look and it at, goes in a direction leads. this time. He leads. I think the original adventure just had it on one side, so it was very difficult That's to so stab the dragons. <gasps> and it's all flashy. It makes it look like it's shiny silver. Oh, I like that. Oh, water fountain. Is that what this is? I think after playing this game for about 60 times, I really wanted a version that did everything I wanted as a kid, Keith says. Yeah, <gasps> nice water it fountain. so good. Bloop, over our bridge. Oh, if you're getting it flickery, ah. stab him, stab him, stab him. Just facing his direction. <laughs> nope, that was a big fail. I tried. That was a big fail. You're in his stomach now. What? How could I be in his stomach? I have a sword. No, the sword didn't touch the dragon. Well, how do I get did. out? Freeze. <laughs> Let's try again. That's how you kept. Oh, you've lost the sword. You don't need that key. Oh. It won't help you. I went this way. There you go. Ah, now drop. drop the key. Drop the key. Grab the sword and poke the dragon next time with the sword. Better sword. Oh, nice trees. Rage reset, Vitoko. gold key still scared the yellow dragon. Yeah, he's gone now. I don't know where he went. Um, so this, the, the objective of the game is to return the cup, the chalice, to mm. that didn't do anything. Nope. <laughs> back to your castle. Or back to that castle. At least in game one. Oh, stab ah! him. Stab him. Yeah, I think oh, I stabbed you? him. Okay, good. I don't know. I hope I stabbed him. Looked like he, he did. He kind of did. That was, uh, oh, bridge. I think you need that bridge mm -hmm. to get That's to where right. you need to go. And ah! it makes, wait, was he alive? He came after me. Go get him. Go get him again. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, makes, makes way more sense for hedge maze to be green instead of blue. Yes. Oh, nice castle walls. Nope. Loop around? Must. Yeah, things loop around. Stab him. Well, I, it's very hard to stab him from this above. Mm, I like this. a lot of the elements in the original game, but I wanted to enhance some areas, Keith says. A nice bridge. I think you have to go back to the maze to get Something. the bridge. And then you can go across there. Oh. You have the sword. Use it. She's too scared. I'm not. It's just you have to she get him from the right time. angle, which is not the easiest. So you might want to find the bridge and then backtrack to 
to how to get to it. So you can either get to it from below or above yeah. on that screen. How to get to that screen is the question, isn't it? The, dra the dragons aren't going to kill themselves, Carl Jesus. says. <laughs> no, you think he, there's only one entrance to that maze. Yes, there's an Easter egg in the upper level games. Uh -huh. um, so, game one is the normal updated game. Um, game two is expanded kingdom items in set locations. Game three is expanded kingdoms items in set locations, oh, bat, resurrects, resurrects dragons. You keep mm -hmm. going to the exact same place. I know, I'm trying to figure out. Game four, expanded kingdom randomly placed oh, items. In a game five, expanded kingdom, randomly placed items, and bat resurrects dragons. So, I don't know about that bat thing. That sounds dangerous. Dead end. At least you're in a different area now. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go up and right, all the way. Oh, I think you're, there you go! Oh, the black castle. Mm. You'll need to get back there. So, be careful. Drop drop the sword in a place where you can get it. Don't drop it in a wall. There you go. Because then you need the magna to get back that sword. So, so you need to take that bridge back. Oh, never mind. It just takes you there. <laughs> Here? No. You, you don't need it there because you've been on the other side of that. But it might be a fast way. Actually, you could put it there. What you do is put it there. Get the sword back. Then get the sword back. And then it's a fast way to get to that black castle, right? Mm -hmm. And I believe you have to get the chalice in the dark maze, maybe? Or the black key. You have to get the black, black key, key in, the, in the dark maze. Yeah. Oh, I see. I can't find the game in the compilations. What is the bin name? Oh, yeah. See, Bloop. Do, do, do. It's called Dancing Another Adventure. I don't know how to, how do I get it? Down, any? left, and then you're pointing left to him. <sighs> there you go. Now left, left, there you go. Dead dragon. Is he dead forever? I believe so. Uh, yeah. What? Get, drop the sword somewhere. Not in a wall. Was I picking something up? Oh, you've got something, but you can't see it. I don't uh, know why. Maybe. Up, up. Yep. Key! Oh, yay, Oops. keys. I don't know why it was not visible. Oh, because... Because it was black. No, because the dragon, you, the dragon, the sword, and the key were on the same line. And the key was flashing in synchronicity with the blacking out. Sure. That's why. <laughs> sure. <gasps> ah! Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, run get, away. Run away. Ah! Uh, go run. get the sword again. Ah! Oh, okay. You've got the chalice. You're fine. Is that what I need? Yeah. So you take that back to your castle. My castle? Or the uh, first castle. Ah! Oh. Run! Avoid I can't! him! Get down! Oh my god. <laughs> You're going like the wrong <laughs> no! way. No, 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 no. Go straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down. No! No! Go no! straight down. No! Oh, you I'm dead now. Oh, no. Okay. Stop. 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 Go back up. I can't pause. Get the magnet. Because now you've wrecked the bridge. And now, no, no, no. Uh, now you'll have to magnetize, bring the bridge back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's madness. Yeah, you do need to get your sword so you can get that dragon. But you have to get the bridge back in the spot. Okay, that might have worked enough. Maybe. I don't think I've ever seen anyone work. Ah! Okay, ah! okay, go get the sword. No, Where's left. the sword? Down, 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 down. 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 Get the sword. Okay, now kill that other dragon. Don't drop your sword. He should be right there. There. Point no, at him. No, no, no. Why are you pointing to the left? I got him. No! Why is he? Why is he still alive? There. Okay. 
Whew. <sighs> okay. okay. I don't think you can get, drop your sword somewhere. I don't know if you can get that chalice. Oh, I might have to get my, um, <laughs> oh, the magnet might be a problem. Hi. Oh, oh you got it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare. No, no, it's over here. What a nightmare. This is why we start on level one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, right? Yeah. Yay! Is that level one? That's level one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hooray! Intense. That was intense. Pretty amazing, actually, that she survived. fun look at that okay you're playing level five oh, <laughs> i'm playing level five my God, do you need me now. to read stuff i can read stuff okay. um <laughs> no yeah yeah we can read where did i stop um i think there read like uh up to there to there yeah Okay, everything's in random places. Okay. The bat revives the dragons. Oh, there's bat. Okay. It's a much bigger land. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to die repeatedly because uh, the sword can be anywhere. And the bat just took the black key. And there's a dragon. But I'll take this red key and put it there. Just so I know where it is. So far, same things. That's a maze. I'm going to stay out of the maze for the... That's still dark area with probably a dragon. There's probably something in there. So... Oh, you stay there. <laughs> so same stuff. Oh, bat has the... Nope. There we go. Got the key. And the bat. And the bat for some reason. So I have to... Maybe, the, the, maybe bat? the bat... I have to touch... The door with the key, but that is nope. Come back. No, no, you oh. got the yellow. The oh. yellow one's there. You're good. He took the red one. Okay, good. No sword. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, it's open. I can complete the game now. That's good. Okay, Atarius Maximus. I'm so saddened by this news. Kurt helped me on so many early projects. Was such a great guy and contri contributed so much to our community. A tragic loss for everyone who knew him. Oh. It's a white key. Oh my oh. god. Oh, oh, the bat oh. has the magnet. Uh, I don't care about the magnet. No, right but he was he There's a red key. Oh, what was that? There's a white the white key on the bat. Oh, the oh. sword. Oh my god. Oh, is this is this red? Mm. Oh, it yes. is. <gasps> That's awesome. Okay. What's in here before I... the bat won't take your sword. Oh, no. We'll take the sword now. Yeah. Get that sword. This is very cool. This is, is, that, the this is a volcano. Yeah, lava ah, flow. Very nice. Nice little pagoda temple room. there. Oh, goda room. Pagoda, yeah. I hate dark mazes. No. Mazes are bad enough. <gasps> oh, my God. There's that looked something. like a dragon. Yeah. Or a rat? What was that? It's a dragon. He just impaled himself. You sure? Yeah. Like a rat. It's just it's very the top small. of his head because he's hidden by the black walls. Is this it? I can't go anywhere else. Up? No. Oh, to the left. Yeah. Oh, is, are you stuck there? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ugh. So yeah. There we go. Oh, it my God. This ends is up in the dark huge. Pieces, man. This is huge. <laughs> We're not going to finish this. But I do um, have a couple of things done. EA Smith. Kurt basically wrote the kernel for my bane, game one versus one basketball, which was my first 2LK and opened up that world to my programming thereafter. He also instructed me on how to do, uh, how to write the start vectors for bank switch games and how to make these compatible with flashback. He was generous enough to do much of this through personal messages. He directly touched my life for sure. Very nice. Yeah. EA Smith has done a lot of um, sports games. Mm. Okay. Dead end. Is that it? <laughs> That's what's down there? That's a oh dead end. That. Is there anything in this? I don't think there's anything. Or maybe it's a terrible, terrible maze that I just haven't figured out yet. I, I it's just Is all it dead. Looping? It's all no. dead ends. No, no good. <laughs> no good. And then Andrew Davy. 
Uh, some names to me defined Atari age and what community means. Nuki Shea was one of those. I think we should all be required to post to the forum a proof of life photo holding the day's newspaper at least once a week. Yeah. Two years is way too long for us to have noticed this. Yeah. yeah. Very so, hard. Yeah. If I don't broadcast for uh, I don't know, a couple months, <laughs> start uh, start worrying. Start worrying. Uh, well. You'd let them know before I that. Would. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, look at these areas uh, boulders and oh. i don't know what this is yeah. oh my god there's the so cave. many it's the cave areas area. oh. Oh, i'm not going in there yet. no go in there go in there i gotta check oh okay black. there's a black key but i want my sword Swamp cave. the thing is the bat resurrects all the dragons so even if you kill all the dragons they can come back yeah Oh, getting close to that. Key. No, I'm not. The thing, if the thing is, if you get the magnet, you mm. can get things like that, and 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 just draw them over to you. Yeah, that's true. Because they may actually be in spots where they're impossible to get. Mm. Yes, get out of that area. <laughs> Again, the playfield graphics are so good, you really get a sense of place for them. Yeah. You do. Like, even though they're huge, they've been drawn Perfect. in a perspective that is perfectly fine for their size i haven't encountered any dragons this area must be massive mm -hmm. for me to not encounter any dragons not yet yeah am i just looping around i am you are okay so let's go back oh look i got the key but i have to drop my sword and i've lost my sword oh <gasps> no oh my god okay well the key it is oh, it's treat time yum 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 it's yum <laughs> So Ghosts excited. get so They're like, excited. Oh, it's tree time. Let's clear out these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, magnet will help retrieve it. Yeah. There you go. Good kitty. Pixel. See, now I'm stuck. Pixel. Terrible without maps. Does this actually go up? No, it does not. Maybe the bat will get my sword. on screen oh yeah he is good yep am i looping yep maybe it's through here there we go if i encounter a, is this just an empty area there you go. it is an empty area nothing so, someone had video train said that was so loud i think it shocked all of us <laughs> <laughs> we uh, all went ah. <laughs> what's in here again oh i think this is the way out is it? Yeah, it's how or... you got in there. There's one for you. Oh God. One I don't think you. it is the way out. Oh my God, no. You oh went God. through the dark maze to get in there. Uh, Wasn't that's it to not, the top? That's, no. That's the wrong one. Oh. It's the wrong dark maze. Good kitty. Good kitty. Here's the dark maze. No, that's still a dead end. <sighs> Have you found the black castle that's yet? It. To the right. Oh, oh this is new. New area. Hooray, new area. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh. oh, the bat took your key. Give me another key. I don't care. <laughs> it's a white key. I don't know where the white... Oh, That's oh, we're back. Oh, black key. Hello. Oh, he's after me. <gasps> no, no, no. No, I think I want the white key. I don't know. Oh, he took. No, now you have a yellow key. Get your black key back. Uh... Yeah, I don't need the yellow key. That's already no. opened. Okay. Uh, I have not found any dragons. Dark mazes. Except for like, one. And I don't even think it was a dragon. Oh my oh, god. Go back in here. Go up. Go up. Should go up. To the right. No. No. It goes. Oh. <gasps> you bridge. got a bridge. That's very useful. Oh, you got, now you got the key. Now you got the bridge. Now you got the key. Stop it. <laughs> key, you go there. That bridge is going to be very useful. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, Keith says take the bridge up. Uh, up from where I was just? Okay. Up out of the maze. Luck. 
Oh, got the key again. <laughs> now the key is in the wall. Uh-oh. Up, up here. Up, he says up. I'm still going up as far as I can. Now you're going down. Yeah. No, out <laughs> of there. <laughs> uh huh. Out of there. Uh, th these are all relative terms. <laughs> you're other up, not so up. Revenge says. Not so up. The, the non up. The other. See, I can go across these things now. Yeah, but you could before. Yeah. Oh. Is this back? Oh, okay. I'm just going back where I was. Up ish. Up, up ish. <laughs> up like. No. Up through there? No? No, he said don't go up there. You don't know when he said. I don't. <laughs> it could be delayed up to 10, 15, 20 seconds. It needs to be more descriptive, like to the, the rocky area, to the volcano. I don't know where I don't I'm know going. what you're doing. <laughs> because it's huge and all the dark areas kind of go everything repeats. Oh well, no I will not learn the map. I will definitely not learn the map. Cuz oh, this is a dead end. We may have to give up on this. Go up through the fire. That goes to the there, which goes up to here. Which goes to a dead end. Does it? No, it's not a dead end there. No. I swear you can get up. Well, I can go anywhere, actually. Let's go through it. Oh, that's nothing. That's like absolutely nothing. Is it? Let's try going up here. Oh, I can only go so far up there. Let's go. Nope, I can't quite reach up there. Oh, I can, can I go across here if I do this? Bridges. Bridges is a funny thing. Oh, oh, oh. I go over here. I use the bridge. <laughs> he thinks you're being quite funny right now. <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> Can you go to another screen? If you put the bridge like up, no, it disappears. No. It yeah, yeah, don't lose your bridge. Oh, yeah, if you're like, I did go to another screen. Yeah. It does allow you to go to another screen, but you may not be able to get back. Yeah. If it doesn't register, you have the bridge. This area you is... You go up there, no. I guess you already could. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. No. no. I don't think it's meant to go sideways. I don't think so. No. <gasps> Uh, dark mazes, repeating screens. Okay, I think I'm good to be done. <laughs> <for this. laughs> it's a huge. If I mapped out the area, then I'd be like, I think okay. You would, yeah. And that's the, that's the, red castle. That's. Oh, the, we could get across there. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there's a, oh there's. A magnet a in the wall. A dragon. Run away. Yeah, I don't have my sword. Dragon. And I can't get that magnet, which would be super handy if I could. Oh. Maybe I can use the bridge. But it's the dragon's just going to kill me. Yeah. Uh, Is that where you were before? I've never been there. Yeah. I don't know why I've never been there. I don't know. You didn't go up that way. To no, the right. I'd never, I never went up. Oh, I, I don't think I could access it. Maybe not. Oh, mm. oh, oh what's this? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think this just takes me. Nope. Right. Keep going. Go up. Go up. No, go up. Up? I think it was a dead end. Was it? To the left? Oh, no. Oh. oh! My back to. Well, you could get over that bridge. There you go. Back to civilization. <gasps> uh. No! no! <laughs> oh. Bats! oh, there he was. I saw him. Oh, there he is. Come back here. Come back here. Bat. Just when I want to use it. I know. It's terrible. Game. Okay. Well, this is where I end the game. Okay. Back in my castle. <laughs> Back in my castle. 
Game five is too advanced for noobs. That's true. That's the bat for you. <laughs> we are noobs at adventure. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're on to the fifth game. And last game. So thank you so much for making that awesome game, Keith and Kurt. You're doing great. Uh, we were getting things. We were yeah, getting things. Takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, I would be much better at the game with a map. The, the, the screens aren't randomized, so you could actually draw out that map mm -hmm. and be able to do it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so cute and upset. He does not like being held. No. Oh. The only time he likes being held is when you're showing him around the room. Like if you carry him around the house and show him things he can't get to normally. Oh, he gets very excited. He likes that. Yeah, he, he, he forgets that he's being carried. Applause for another adventure. Agree. Yay. 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 It's great. I never saw the Easter egg. <sighs> Good luck. Never good at finding Easter eggs. <laughs> um, so this last Man, game no, is no, Galaxian. Oh, thank you for following Project Bureau. Nice. <laughs> uh, is Galaxian Arcade Expanded, a 2012 hack by Kurt Howe and Kevin Mosley. Kevin nice. MOS3. Um, from 2010, but this build is from 2012. Um, I think you can just go ahead and load it up. And we know Galaxian. Mm -hmm. Shoot, shoot the things. Very cool arcade style. That's what it looks like when you turn on arcade machines. We are the Galaxians. Mission: destroy aliens. Score: advance table. So this, none of this nice. was in the original. Nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Scrolls through the points. That was. The Namco, I believe, is new. Okay. And I will go through all the new things. Oh, couch complaint. Yay. A little bit quiet this game. Turn that up a bit. Okay. So this version is actually extended by Kevin Mosley, but based on the work that uh, Kurt Howe did as an 8K game. Um, it's so beautiful, Keith says. It is indeed. So happy to get 2600 Galaxian for Christmas. Like the original Galaxian is really good for the 2600. Lots of play value. Um, so the things that Nuki added to this, added startup animation and arcade-like score table, so the thing we saw at the beginning, added multiple colors per enemy, so you see at the top, they are very, very colorful. Uh, added flagship sprite, uh, made play made player ship multicolor at the bottom before it was not that color. Oh, really? And even at the bottom, you can see there's two colors at once on the same line. Um, looks like it's at 30 hertz um, so that uh, an enemy can pass through. Mm. So it's using like player zero flashing back and forth. And the enemies going down the screen yeah. are player one. Uh, added sound when starting game. Heightened pitch of enemy diving sound. I'm guessing that's to match the arcade a bit closer. Um, added a pause. Flip the color black and white switch to hide the player ship, effectively pausing action. Oh, so it just hides your ship. It doesn't actually pause it. Things will keep coming down. Oh, really? You just can't die. I'm going to try that right now. Okay. <laughs> so you have to make sure when you turn it on, mm. there's nothing at the bottom of the screen. That's so it doesn't good. instantly kill you. Kill you yeah. That's an interesting way to pause a game. Yeah, very, very clever. Uh, Ground Trooper says, really nice upgrade to the arcade version. Nostalgic 26 says, this is quite the enhancement. It, it is. is. Quite like, nice. If you look at the original, it's quite plain. It's really plain compared mm, to this. It is, yeah. Um, added hidden bonus level, and probably more that I can't think of at the moment. And then it was extended by uh, Kevin Mosley, who added. Uh, all new player ship sprite. Changed the enemy colors and sprites. So you just changed them a bit. Made the new enemy and player explosion animations. Uh, changed the other color sp sprites more ref closely reflect the arcade. Uh, removed the border. And he says, actually, I removed it from the old version. Nuki removed it from the f source in this version. So there was a border along the sides. Which... Atari made very strange decisions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back in the day regarding colors and other things. It's like it, some of their decisions just made no sense. 
Like they would make space games have a, a non-black background. Oh yeah. And then they would put borders in the games for no good reason. <laughs> Just because they thought it would add color, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Some something interesting, I guess? Yeah. This expanded version should be sold in the Atari Age store. Last check, it, it isn't this version. Oh, really? Really? This is, like, a good version. Is it? Is the version sold in the store by somebody else completely? Uh, let's see. Let me check on that. Age store. It's probably don't want two Galaxians in the store. Yeah, Galaxian Arcade. Mm. Uh, uh, no, it's done by somebody completely different. Let's see what that one looks like. Uh, that one's pretty colorful too. Uh, very different colors though. Very different colors. Hmm. Yeah, it would be very confusing having two in the store. Yes, the Atari Age store version isn't this good. I have it. Oh. Did he reduce how far the purple bugs could travel across the screen? My younger self remembered them traveling at a very sharp angle. Mm. I remember that too, playing the original. They just, like, strafe the whole screen, and yeah. you're, like, dead if they make it to your level. Like, oh, I see. Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you want to read out some of that, okay. I get to play. Okay, you want to play? Yep. Do you? Oh. What? A shooter? No. <laughs> so where, where did you leave it? Oh, just just At there. The top? Anywhere. Okay. Yeah, on that. Uh, so August 26, 2010, Nuki Shape posted, The goal was to update the graphics, but unfortunately the program doesn't like its sprites to be using anything but six pixels, because it uses the re reflect register to handle some of the fine positioning. This is my first venture into the realm of multiple respos. <laughs> R-E-S-P-O's. -E respos. So give a yell if I broke something. Reset player zero. Okay. Uh, I started by hacking the color stored to the player's ship. This led to one of the bugs that remains unfinished. Occasionally an alien will flash as it charges the ship. This glitch, glitch is tied to how the color change was originally shared with attacking flagships because the ship and flagship sprites use the same one. So I don't have a good solution to it. Okay, you can stop. Okay. It's about problems that were solved. Because oh. that's his first post. I don't oh, know if there's more I see. below. You're scrolling up. The wrap up? Um, is that the last thing in the sheet? Well, just this there's this posting, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, there's more things on that sheet maybe you can read? Um, read all the rest except for that last The statement. last one? Like the last one on this page yeah. is okay? Yeah. Or just not the last one on this page? Yeah, the last one on that page. Oh, they're so distracting. These, <laughs> these two? I can read? Yeah, if you haven't read those, read those. Uh, Pac-Man Plus says, My God, I literally just found out about this while watching the At Zero Page Homebrew podcast tonight. I can't believe all the good people we are losing. Kurt helped me while I was still fooling around with the 5200 hacks. Gutted, just gutted. Uh, and Ball Blazer posted, I sent a message to his nephew expressing condolences with a link to this thread. Hopefully he'll pass it on to any other family who might be com comforted to see how many people here appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and I hope, I hope they do see this because yeah. they may not have known that he did so much did so much and that so many people uh, appreciated, appreciated his, his yeah. stuff and talked to him on a daily basis and yeah what he was involved with yeah. i'm gonna play again because you're just gonna... <laughs> it's <laughs> my fault question. oh 100 yeah. percent. always my fault the tuckle asks how much ram does this use is there extra ram in the car? uh that's a good question i believe it is an um 8K F8 game? Can you... Look at that! Went to the side. Scroll up to the stats of the game. And it'll say. And then somebody in the chat can tell tell, tell them how much RAM he uses, because I'm not familiar. That intimately familiar with um, the different... Oh my god! The different bank it's banking uh, 8k f8 f8 so wh whatever f8 has for ram inform that the person who asked that question the toko. The toko. oh just enough sorry 
good way of some things. I think they look beautiful. I really I see elements of um, Galagon in the multicolored sprites that become solid as they float down. Well, yeah, this what, this is, is the, yeah. the predecessor, direct predecessor of Galagon. Yeah. Um, and even as they they group together, you saw, yeah, you saw how multiple ones come yeah. down. Yeah. No, but I mean. Um, Really, the only major thing Galaga added was the capture. Yes, yes. Um, and, oh, and the, all of them coming on the screen, too. Um, because these just appear. They just but go, didn't, they're all out. Didn't older versions of Galaga on the 2600, were, weren't they just solid? Like... Uh, of Galaxian, you mean? There was no Galaga. Oh, there wasn't. Oh, okay. Way too complex. No, I was just wondering about John Champo's version. Oh. Reminds me of this a little bit. Yes. I mean, I, I know that I know they're direct predecessors. Yeah. But okay. Like this is a predecessor of that. But, yeah. It, but the way his becomes solid as they come down, and it, yes. it reminds Very me a lot of, of um, I said Galagon because that's that was his <laughs> that's version. Different. Yeah. Yeah. They become solid because they come in at an angle. So, oh, okay. And, they and, don't do that in the arcade, do they? Um, they're they're still multicolored in the arcade yeah. version. That's that's what I meant. Like that's what round. reminded me of Galagon. Way more ability yeah. the arcade. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. And more memory. And yeah. Things. No, they look um, really good though. And they're not able to do it here because of the way the twenty six hundred draws and stores information and the multiple colors per uh, multiple colors per line. You're only but really I like only one. how what when they're in line like this. Yes. They're beautiful. They're very bright and vivid. And, the, um, and they're able to do that because it's all really one color per line. Because the mm. same character is on the same line That's because true. of the formation. Right? True. Yeah. So if it's red, it's red all the way across. Uh, if it's purple, it's purple all the way across. And they're just saying, redraw this character here. Redraw this character here. Redraw this character here. Yeah. I, I couldn't move to the right. Very weird. Peter Cat King says... Uh, I smell a ten-line Galaxian on the way. <laughs> Galaxian. Ah. Uh, that would be uh, impressive. That would be yeah. very <laughs> impressive. There's a challenge, Kotoko. Yeah. That's a lot to do in ten lines. A lot. I bet if you make them look all the same and dive kind of all the same, you could possibly do that. Mm. Maybe. One more each. One more each. We could play this all day. Oh, GA Plus and Galaga 3. Maybe that would be super awesome. I meant to... So what is, what is the um, scheme for points here? If, if those two things at the top come down together, do you get more points? Yes. Is it like Gala... Um, in that sense, yeah, if they come down with partners, Land and you all of them. Them. Oh, yeah. Blimp Pilot, thank you for following. Yay, Glad you enjoy the content. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're at 888. 888, 888 followers. Ooh, better than 666. That's a very, very lucky Chinese number. Is it 888? Extremely. Because yeah. there's a um, Chinese mall downtown. Oh, And it's yeah. at 88... Something Street? Oh. Powell? I don't know. Some Street. It's the most desolate mall in the whole city. <laughs> <laughs> so not lucky for the mall. Not lucky for the mall, but it's a lucky number. Yeah, <laughs> That's just, funny. Oh. Original Galaxian was F8. Oh, really? Wow. So they they didn't change the, the, the banking scheme at all. Hmm. That's very impressive. Getting better. <laughs> Slowly. Ah. Whoa! Dodge him. I dodge dodged him. three shots in a row. I ran under them. Ah! Oh, no, you gotta I know, go the other way. I know, that was bad. Like, and I was like, I don't know how, like animals, how I lived after those three shots came down. It's like animals on the road. They run directly away from you. Like, no, no, go this side. Go the opposite way. I know. Don't keep running the way the car's what going. What did we see the other day? It was a family of raccoons oh. trying to run across the street. And it was like, ah! They turned around, though, thankfully. Oh, they saw the car and they ran in the opposite direction. But it was raccoons like a mother and clever. three baby raccoons trying to run, run across a highway, basically. Yeah, it oh. was not a small road. No, not good. They were okay. They were. They did not get hit. 
No, ba no baby raccoons were harmed. Oh, County says standard 128 bytes on F8. So no expanded uh, RAM. Very impressive um, to keep track of all these shots, all these enemies coming down, mm -hmm. all the bullets from the enemies, the bullet from you, all the positions of the characters, um, the direction that the enemies are coming down as well as their position, um, score, lives, level, a bunch of other things that are not apparent as well. <laughs> Is the explosion using player one, player two sprites overlapping? I'm going to look at the explosion again. Ah! Whoa, that was close. I know. The collision is pretty loose. Uh, it's it doesn't nice. look like there's two things in the explosion, just one. Lots of multicolor. It changes colors from so nice, eh? white to red. Um, and it uses the graphics of the of the enemies as well as it's exploding because it's like changing. Oh, it's got an extra life button. Something. Someone made a noise. Oh. But you have to shoot it in the same pass oh, do you? to get those points. Oh. Whoa, he's dropping those bombs. When you get hit. Oh, okay, I'll have to watch. Oh, when you explode. It might because at that point who cares what it's using for, for sprites. Level four. Excellent, excellent version. Beautiful. If you like this game, Beautiful. this is the one to download. As far as I... I don't know which of his games were released on cartridge other than another adventure. No, it would just be one. Uh, it looks like it's doubled in size. The uh, But it just looked like one. One explosion. Just larger. Because the pixels were bigger. Oh, Keith's, Keith said, yeah, it was, it was one that time. Yeah. I exploded? Yeah, I didn't see a second. Or maybe it was different another time? Get them both. Get them. Don't die. Yay! Big points! Yay! <laughs> Big points! Whoa, oh! That was hard to dodge. There was a lot of bullets yeah, there. Yeah, that wasn't good. Last no life. Last life. Yeah, last time. Had a good run this time. I had a pretty good run Number last five. time, too. There's something about this game, same with uh, Galaga, yeah. that is just kind of weirdly tense and soothing at the same time. Meditative. Whoa, oh! No. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Yeah, just nice. one that time. Kay. It looked like it was. it's quite high. One more run for you. One more run for me. Yay! They're so still sitting here with going, hmm, maybe I'll get more treats. I don't know. I don't know. What time is it? I don't know, kitties. They're looking at me like they want me to give them treats. Oh, always look like that. <laughs> well, especially <laughs> the great cats. Atari, come here. Come here, Atari. They love to sit off camera, too. They're so cute, and they'll come on camera for the treats. They, they do like to sit at the margins and watch us play video games a lot of the time. They do. Uh, we've trained them now to expect treats so they hang around a lot oh, more. Oh yeah, they're always in this room. Come, come. Oh, sorry. 33 minutes, RC70 uh, says. Oh, oh that's a lot minutes. of time. No, I don't think. Unlikely. Yeah, Unlikely. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, hi. I think we can stretch it out hi, and see how sir. good of a game I play. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I don't think I'll be playing for 33 minutes. Say hi. Shooting the enemies like in playing space and just pick them off one by one at the edges, because because it's fast. Because you just shoot, you shoot the whole row. Oh yeah. Well, you get more points I think when they're tumbling. Though, uh, don't you? Well, you do. You ah, I ah, cornered you. Come, come on up. I guess I care about points in terms of extra lives, but I'm not. Literally sure. Literally looks at me and looks up at the tree jar. <laughs> oh. Oh no no it's oh, okay. Run. Oh, no, he doesn't want to be up there. He says, I want treats. They come on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the treats are on the floor. <laughs> They're floor treats, not couch treats. Come on. 
Come on, he's so weavy. There we go. Not doing good in terms of lives. Says, I asked him if he wanted any credit for his work on another adventure, and he said no. Really? I was more than willing to acknowledge his contribution. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that is really nice. Some people just love... Just doing it for the sake of Yeah. They don't, they don't care about of it, it, and yeah. they love helping other people out, and being of use, being helpful to other people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mmm, oh. doing bad. And no lives left. So good. Okay, you beat me. Trounced me. I like to hear that. <laughs> I know he had some carts made from his hacked ROMs, but never claimed ownership of those. Yeah, mm. so I guess he gave permission. Because Atari Age allows you to make a cart out of any ROM. Okay. As long as you have permission from, from the, the person okay. who made it. Oh, so that's nice. I didn't his... know they did that. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. For $25, so, I believe. Yeah. Eventually, when you make your game, you could make a cart of it. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. I have to finish the instructions for the ZPH, the game. Oh! It's been so long, and I just, everything just gets in the way, and I yeah. keep forgetting, because that's what I, and I need to make graphics and stuff. Um, mm. So, the manual. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Awesome, awesome version of Galaxian. Highly uh, recommended if you like shooters, for sure. Um, so we have one uh, final thing to read from something somebody posted, Omega Matrix. Okay. Uh, he said, I want to say this. There are people in those these forums that you always hope to meet one day. Mm -hmm. Nuki was at the top of this list. His hack threads were always interesting and kept you coming back for more. I really enjoyed reading them. I'm glad to see people here are universally recognizing how generous, helpful, and friendly he was. That shined right through his spirit. I can also add that he had a great sense of humor as well, a little bit of magic. There was always, always something different with Nuki's hacks. You knew it uh, was going to be great. You just knew it was going to be great. They captured and translated the arcade spirit so well. You knew that he must have spent a lot of time in the arcades playing these games, loving these games. Nuki was the hack master. There is no other, and there never shall be again. God rest your soul, Nuki. We know you're with the big Pac-Man in the sky now. Mm. <laughs> and uh, that's big words mm -hmm. coming from Omega Matrix, mm -hmm. because Omega Matrix makes incredible hacks. Mm -hmm. so. uh, he got a lot of love yeah. from the community in, mm -hmm. that, uh, in that thread and everywhere that it was posted. All these and comments. And that all these amazing left. comments. Yeah. yeah so... Yeah. I know. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. <laughs> trying, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Keith Bradbury. It's uh, so amazing at his knowledge skill. I wonder if he was originally an Atari employee originally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you look at uh, his his knowledge and how he was able to take those original games and just cram so much more into them. Yeah. He had an incredible amount of knowledge. And all these games that people play... Mm -hmm that people make now, all these homebrew developers, seem to credit him for learning from him a, a, a lot. lot. Yeah. Like all the big, big names that make yeah. the high profile games. So mm. it's it's uh it's it's just incredible how much he influenced everybody here that watches this show and mm -hmm. posts in the in the forums. Mm. And contributes all the games that we play. Like, yeah, and he has a lot like more. Sounds like he's got his hand in a lot of things there. So I recommend uh, playing these games and all the other ones you can um, download that big pack of games that Trevor posted. You can go, if you have the plus cart, and go online and play all of them just right off of there as well. And uh, yeah, Standing on the Shoulder of Giants, that's exactly, um, that's exactly right. So uh, that is it for today. Uh, for the show, I'm glad we could play his games and do a, a small tribute to him and what he, what he gave mm -hmm. to the community. Um, we would be here for days <laughs> playing all of his games every single game yes. yeah 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 uh, so uh next episode we've got uh vh said c game brand new one a brand new platformer for the 2600 he always has a brand new game how, how does he always have every, a brand new game every month it every seems month. it's uh wow. yeah it's uh, amazing yeah. um and some other games i don't know just yet what i'll pair with that uh darcy will be here yeah 
uh, on Friday, so it'll be a noon show. Oh, he is here this Friday. Natalie's show. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we were away uh, yeah. last week, so yeah. um, last weekend, so that's why we didn't have a show on Friday. Uh, very wonderful tribute, newer newer to ZPH and homebrew hacking in general, but great, great show. Well, yeah. thank you, Rendered Ghost. I recognize your name. Yeah. You've been oh, around. Hey, Rendered bit. Ghost has yeah. been around for a few, few shows. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you could be here live, Ground Trooper. Yes. Um, and uh, upcoming at some point, we have a surprise Atari 7800 game. Mm. Uh, by uh, M.K. Smith. We won't say what it is. It's going to be a surprise on the show. Exciting. <laughs> I know what it is, but we're going to reveal it. Okay. Um, and we're going to have a live uh, interview with him. Okay. Uh, as we reveal his game. Nice. Um, I don't know if he'll talk about the game after that game, but... Uh, oh, my God. The game after this game is... You're very excited for it, obviously. So good. <laughs> Unbelievable that it's even going to be on a 7800, actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're going to be playing Scramble and Time Pilot for the 7800 later. Oh, cool. I really need to catch up on some 8-bit games as well. There's okay. been a bunch of new ones. Oh, that's good to hear. So I may bump, uh, may put those on Tuesday. Okay. Um, the 8-bit games? Yeah, the 8-bit games. Cool. Yeah. So that's exciting. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the Intellivision is going to be back probably by Friday, so we can show that off, mm -hmm. unbox it. Uh, yep, Crossbow just said yeah. that. I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be coming tomorrow, I think it's due. Sometime. Next couple days. Um, and I've got some upgrades to my 5200 that are coming in a box that aren't in a 5200. I have to do it. Okay. But it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to follow Crossbow's instructions online. Just Not, follow whatever Crossbow says. Yeah, and if it messes okay. up, it's all on him. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, it, it would be on my soldering. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Keith, uh, for coming uh, on the show yeah. and talking about another adventure. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a excellent upgrade oh to God. adventure yeah, yeah. in terms of looks and, and options yeah. as well. So if people want a challenge, set it to game five. Yeah. And even more of a challenge Maybe if they'll you don't find have a map. the Easter egg that we weren't able to find. Neither right. of us are really adventure experts. So. No, we fail every time we yeah, play it. That's yeah. why I wanted I love, to play level I love one. those games, so they're really fun. Yeah. And I always freak out at the dragons chasing me across the room. They are scary. <laughs> they do always they are very scary. take me by surprise. But, uh, yeah, it was really great. And we really have to great. plan for Halloween show as oh, well. Oh, yeah, Halloween. I have some games for Halloween show to Are play. Are we looking for more? More games we haven't played in the past? <sighs> it's it's going to be tough. To <laughs> yeah. We have played almost every Halloween game. I mean, we, can, hack as we well. can revisit some ones yeah. we really like, you know? A nostalgic <laughs> challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you'll have to look back at the old Halloween shows uh, on the uh, list. Yeah. Um, so if there's any Halloween games or scary games or tangentially related, yeah, scary, spooky yeah. kind of. Although I guess we could just games. play adventure and then dragons just keep popping up. That's pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I do have some on there. There's Last Stand, Halloween, Dead Works, and Halloween Three. Um, so I have three games. Okay. Um, we played Skeleton Plus. I'm sure we played all of these games. Anything you can. Okay, throw some out right now, um, and I'll, I'll look it up right now. Because if I can get some suggestions right now, that'd be awesome. Um, so Skeleton. Skeleton Plus. We played that in 2019. <laughs> um, Haunted House had some great sound effects. I think we played that. Did we play oh, that? Oh, yeah. Um, we yeah. played yeah. Ronister at Haunted House. Oh. So we haven't played Haunted House. Um, I think we've mostly stuck to homebrews and hacks, actually. And we may have to extend into originals this year. Haunted House has dark mazes. I know. <laughs> I know. That's awesome. So I'm going to write that down. Okay. Because we're just going to have to play. That scary one with the friar, what was that called? Oh, um, oh yeah. That is an excellent game. I enjoyed that a lot. We could revisit that one because we didn't play that it's a on long, Haunted. It's a long game, mind you, but it's great. What is that game? I, I picture it in my head, and I I, I can... Sneak and peek. That's not a... That's, <laughs> I guess you can jump out and scare them. <laughs> uh, I'll write it down, just in case. Uh uh what else 
Friar one. That one is is. I know is, exactly. It has the right atmosphere. Or it's, it's though. a priest, but um. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, he throws crosses. It's so good. Yes. And there's ghosts. Yeah. I'll write down <sighs> the description of it. Um, I know what it is. We'll figure it out. Unholy! Thank you, Gitoko! Yes! Thank you. Yeah, we'll... Oh, that's a good one. We'll definitely play that. We'll play that, yeah. We'll yeah. have to throw that in. Sneak and peek and the frustration of trying to access the hiding places. <laughs> I, I did a video on sneak and peek just for the forums. Okay. Because there's a moon that goes across the sky. Oh, yeah. And somebody asked what happens to the moon when it gets to the... When it crosses the whole sky. Oh, yeah. And I... And I turned on turbo mode on Stella oh. and it takes like 14 hours really to get across the sky or something crazy oh, it, like that in, in turbo mode yeah in tur no 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 in normal mode in normal I, mode I it recalculated would take 14 hours. it off turbo wow. mode and all it does is just sit there it just hits the end and stops yeah hmm. uh, yeah no that's fully in theme Frankenstein's monster and uh, we did a hack of it but we could play the original hmm. um we played no we have done frankenstein's monster in 2019 so we did them but with these we, we've got enough dungeon stalker dungeon stalker i don't know that one dungeon if i spell oh, it right that bad father game? Hmm. oh my god yeah that's that the write up for that game is no we played Oh, yeah, we can extend it to 7,800 games and 8-bit games, yes, too. Yes, yes. Ta-da. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, there we go. So, now we're going to have a lot, uh, <laughs> a lot of, options. of latitude, especially on 8-bit. Oh, my God. Excellent. So, yeah, so I'll ask in the forums about that, and I'll extend it to 8-bit. And there's a billion, mm -hmm. a billion games for Atari 8-bit, of course. Um, okay, that's enough. And I'll write down Bad Father, because that one is creepy as hell. Is it? What? Just the write-up, not the game itself. Oh, just reading the write-up, yeah. Oh, it's about this husband who kills his family and has to escape the house because he drowns and puts their body underwater in their house. What? Oh, my God, it's crazy. It's hmm. a good game, too. It's a really good game. Yeah. Um, oh, we're not uh, directly for television. I don't know if we'll extend to a television not for yet. that because that's yet. too many systems yeah. to, to deal with. <laughs> Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll do all in television. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Halloween. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And Televania. Spooky controller <laughs> <laughs> with the round button. Yeah. And Televania. Mm. Oh, yeah, that kind of fits, actually. Mm. So many, Interesting. So many things. So many things. So many support Dracula to the 2600. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We're done. Um, I think that's it for announcements so we'll be back on i would like to see more games on the 8-bit now that i've got out mine to play well we'll be doing that on tuesday yes almost definitely we'll be doing an 8-bit day on tuesday mm. there's a bunch of new homebrews that have come out mm. um, that i want to play uh, so we'll be back on tuesday uh, back on friday at noon with darcy so yes. tune in then noon pacific time um, but until then have a great uh week and i've not written read any names out no. At the top you of the need, show, so yes. let's do that. Uh, Cross, so thanks names. for watching. Crossbow, S. Ramirez, The D Train, uh, Charles Whelan, Phaser Cat Games, Keith C. Bradbury, uh, special thanks. Nostalgic, Fatoko, Carl G., Metal Lunar, um, Revenge, Mike Soul, uh, NABC, Rendered Ghost, Ground Trooper. I don't know if you mentioned Ground Trooper. Uh, I think I did. Uh, RC70, Jedekiah. I supposed to. I supposed to. Yeah, I supposed to. Um, uh, Cafe Man 2D. Oh, 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 so many names. Uh, oh, that's it. Rendered, that's it. That's far as I go. I know a ghost. lot of people. Yes, there are a lot, a lot of people. Of people talking. And Spice Spicer, Rare. Yeah. Snuck under the wire. Yeah. Lovely. Yep. Um, so thank you. Uh, have a great week. And we'll be back on Friday noon with Darcy. And then Tuesday again with some 8 bit games yep. with that person right now. Um, <laughs> that person. Oh, thanks. <laughs> with, with Tanya. Uh, so have a good night and we'll see you on Friday. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Say bye, kitties. Bye, cats. Bye bye. <laughs>